Investi- this is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Investigate and modify. Run the program to observe the- and observe the results. Don't have to tell me twice. The art club has three members. Woo woo. Go art club. Wait, that's all this program does? That's kind of okay. That's great. Um, then experiment with the program, making the following modifications. All right, cool. One, in art club member.java, look for get num members method. All right, art club member.java. Oh, here we are. Art club. Okay, get num, uh huh, bloom, this and this. That looks cool to me. What is, oh, wait, that's not our method. This is obviously our constructor, guys. And so get num members. Now, what is a method signature? Let's keep in mind. What do you do when you, well, what is your signature? It's your name. It's you signing your name. A method signature has the method's name. It also has the access modifier and the return type. Let's see. Oh, and this is new, static. What does static mean? It means, well, you get shocked sometimes. But static also means not changing, right? So a static item is something that will not be changing. So let's see what we're going to do with this. Remove static keyword. Okay. Boom, boom. Method signature, then run the program. Alrighty. Oh, no. What happened? Okay, let's see. Uh, my console.java, non-static method, get numbers, cannot be referenced from static content. System dot out dot, oh, interesting. So if we head over to council, guys, what they're attempting to get across, I believe, yep, here. So line eight, art club member dot get num members. Notice that we aren't instantiating a class. We're using our class directly, right? There's none of this here. Mm. Right? There's not that. We're not instantiating the class in that manner. We are doing so here for each of the members, but we're not calling on it directly. We're doing this, right? So we're directly calling on a method within the class, this method, which is why it's public. It gives us access to it. However, we're getting this error. It can't be referenced from a non-static context. So it's saying, hey, if you're going to allow this method not to be static, meaning it's allowed to be different in each instance, in each object, then it's not trusted. We're not going to allow that to happen. The only way you can call a method directly in the class is one if it's public and two if it's static. All right. Add static keyword back. Okay, let's do that. In the signature, try calling get member method again on one of the art club member objects. What happens? Okay, let's call it again. So I'm just going to copy this and hit paste. Control V, Control C. Now I'll pick uh, Jacob, sure. And I'm going to switch it out here, right? So that's my class. Boom. Huh. And notice that this is the exact same result. So the art club member class has a static variable num members that is used for get member get num members remove the static keyword from the static variable run the program why do you think this happens guys i also want to do it on two club members just to show you so what static means is the exact same method is getting run regardless so even though that this is an instantiated class the code that is getting executed is identical to whatever this is when calling it directly now they want us to change this static variable, and I bet it's gonna be grumpy. Yeah, so it's gonna be mad because it says, hey, you're not allowed to use this directly, this static method, with a variable that could be changing but inside of each instantiated object, right? In the Eva object, in the Jacob object, and in the Anita object, the number could be changing and it could be different. Maybe num members in Jacob is 9 and Eva is a 74. However, if it's static, when I change it to 9 in Eva, then it must be 9 in Jacob. It changes in everything. And so if you have a static method, it's only going to let you use static variables. They, it needs to know that the method and the variables used will be the same in all of the classes. Pretty cool. This is powerful stuff. I'm excited to see what we do with it. Onward.